It is the week of September 18, 2018. My name is Aaliyah. And I am Evelyn. Welcome to your official news. As you may know, that at the time of filming, Hurricane Florence was a category for hurricane. In some places in North and South Carolina, people had to evacuate their homes. In North and South Carolina, South Carolina stores are, were running out of water because of Hurricane Florence. People were actually making posters telling Hurricane Florence to go away. Florence was to make landfall over the weekend. We will keep you updated, letting you know how bad the damage actually was. Maybe Hurricane Florence saw those posters. As you might know, Arizona is famous for the five C's. They are cattle, climate, copper, cotton, and citrus. As Scott's a Scottsdale advertising firm is taking their own turn on the five C's of advertising. The five, the five C's that they came up with are culture, community, connectivity, commerce, and catalyst. These five C's are being used to draw businesses to the great state of Arizona. You may even see commercials on TV or in magazines advertising the new five C's. Let's go over to Xavier with sports. Welcome to sports. My name is Xavier. The New England Patriots signed free agreement wide receiver Beanie on Tuesday, filling one of three open roster sports on the team following week one. Fowler was set will spend his fourth year playing professional football with the Patriots, having spent the previous three seasons playing for the Denver Broncos. The 27 year old holds out the wide receiver that the Patriots are lacking until Julian returns to the field in five, week five. The Cardinals lost one 24-6 against the Redskins. The past weekend, they were hoping for a better result against the LA Rams. The soccer team won their game last week 4-1 to one against her Kessel. Varsity Volleyball won their game last week while JV came up just a little short. See you next time on sports. Thanks, Xavier. Here's Mackenzie with Joke of the Week. Hello, welcome to Joke of the Week. My name is Mackenzie and I have Gabriel here. Gabriel is a sixth grader in Miss Rubel's homeroom. Gabriel, what's your joke? How can you tell if it's been raining cats and dogs? I don't know how. When you step on a poodle. Good joke, Gabriel. If you have a joke and would like to be on the news, go to smusd.me slash be on the news. See you next time on Joke of the Week. Thank you, Mackenzie. Here's Athena with Fun Fact Trivia. Hi, my name is Athena and welcome to this week's Fun Fact Trivia. This week's fact is what is the largest planet? Is it A, Venus, B, Jupiter, or C, Saturn? You have 10 seconds to guess. If you picked B, Jupiter, then you are correct. Jupiter has the mass and volume of 300 times as much as Earth. See you next time on Fun Fact Trivia. Thanks, Athena. Now let's go over to Justice with Cool Student Hidden Talent. Hello, welcome to Cool Student Hidden Talents. My name is Justice. Today we have Daniel, a fifth grader from Ms. Halsey's homeroom. What is your talent? I can, well, I can make a beat with, my pen, with a pencil. Sounds cool. Let's hear it. Daniel, how long have you been making beats with your pencil? I've been making beats with my pencil ever since fourth grade. If you have a hidden talent that you'd like to share, if you have a hidden talent that you'd like to share and be on the news, go to smusd.me slash be on the news. See you next time on Cool Student Hidden Talents. Thanks, Justice. Now here's Chris with our teacher interview. Welcome to the first teacher interview. Today we have Ms. Hot. Hi. Hi, Ms. Hot. How long have you been teaching here? 
I've been teaching at Ruth Fisher for a, this is my third year here now. For my second question, how long have you lived in Phoenix? Also uh, three years. Okay, Miss Ott, if you've been here for three years, where were you born? I was born way up north um, in Iowa. For my final question, what do you like to do when you're not at school? Oh, for my, I like to go hiking. I like to go for boxing class. I like to read. I like to watch movies. I like to do a lot of things, actually. Thanks, Miss Ott, for being here on the teacher interview. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks, Chris. Let's go over to Ryan with This Week in History. Welcome to This Week in History. My name is Ryan. On this day, back in 1793, George Washington laid the very first stone for the United States Capitol building in the area that would eventually become Washington, D.C. It took almost a century to complete. Today, three to five million visitors a year come to see the Capitol building that now has 540 rooms. That is all for this week in history. See you next time. Thanks, Ryan. Now here's Emily with Weird News. Homecoming Queen makes winning field goal. Not something you'll hear every day. Caitlin Foster is a senior at Ocean Springs High School in Mississippi. She knew that she was going to dance, but didn't know that she was going to be elected homecoming queen. She made the winning field goal and was amazed. After the game, Caitlin and her friends went to homecoming. Caitlin had no idea what everyone was going to do for her. When they announced Caitlin's name, she was so happy she and started to cry. The football star that had won the game and then became homecoming queen, in my book, that's the best day ever. See you next time on Weird News. Good job, Emily. Let's go with Michael with Word of the Week. Welcome to Word of the Week. My name is Michael. This Word of the Week is unjust. It is an adjective, <laughs> adjective. and means unfair or not justified. Here is how you can use it in a sentence. I felt the judge's decision was unjust. The criminal should not be set free. Come back, Come back next week for another Word of the Week. Thanks, Michael. Now here's Kevin with What's for Lunch. What's for lunch? My name is Kevin. On Tuesday, we are having a crispy chicken patty sandwich or a turkey hot dog, and both of them come with mi mixed vegetables. On Wednesday, we are having cheese pizza or classic pepperoni pizza, and both of them um, come with sliced carrots. On Thursday, we are having pancakes or turkey sausage patty or ham and cheese bagel, and all of them come with tater tots. And on Friday, cheese, on Friday we are having cheese pizza or classic pepperoni pizza or turkey ham chef salad and all of them come with a dinner roll. See you next time for What's for Lunch. Remember, Wednesday is an early release day. That's all for this week. See you next time. Go Colts!